Most Iowa adults are now eligible to get a COVID-19 vaccine. Buena Vista's county health leader says that the demand had been building for that new group, which now includes those 65 years old and younger with chronic medical conditions. There's people out there that are 64 and younger that have these chronic health conditions that, you know, they haven't been able to go anywhere. They haven't been able to do anything. And not that the vaccine takes that all away, but it's one step closer um, for people to be able to return more to more of a normal life. So um, probably the number one group of people that we have heard from is those people with cancer or other immunocompromised people. Um, who just haven't been able to leave home. And there is still a large portion of our population, 65 and up, that hasn't been vaccinated yet. And so I'm hoping with having um, it just be a phone call that they have to make to schedule an appointment, I hope that that helps to get some of them. Um, some of them, you know, transportation is hard, so we can work with Elderbridge, which is our local area agency on aging, um, to try and arrange some transportation, or we have some senior housing places in town that we've just went out to and did a bigger group of people there at one time. I think you can make it as easy or as cumbersome as you want to. Um, again, Northwest Iowa values, we don't require people to um, show proof of identification. They fill out their consent. Um, and then we also um, are not charging an administration fee for our vaccine. So it makes it quicker when people come. There's not a lot of registration, scanning cards, that, that sort of stuff. Um, it's our goal just to get as many people vaccinated as we can. You know, it's really kind of like being on a transplant list. You just wait for that call and, and it is, it has been totally humbling to hear the stories of what getting vaccinated means to people. And, you know, to hear people say, I haven't hugged my grandchildren in a year, or I haven't, you know, been shopping or any of that sort of stuff. And at Rembrandt last week, I was talking to a lady and she had lost a child from COVID. Um, and just what that means to her now finally to be getting vaccinated and, and taking back something from COVID that has taken so much from her. So it's those kind of things, you know, that it makes all the hours worth it. It does. Um, it's been a hard year for people and, you know, just a little bit of hope. And if that hope comes in the form of a shot, then that's awesome. Up next, what it takes so vaccine doesn't go to waste.